Hello solo enthusiast. This video has been made to give people like you an idea of how the poor in the third world can be helped to have just a little solar power. To power an LED for several hours each evening can cost as little as five dollars and go on giving light for many years. Much more can be done than shown here. For example to make a solar charger for a mobile phone battery it only costs about three dollars but if you want to solar charge a laptop or a car battery and it has to be very slowly it can be done for a cost of uh, around twenty dollars or more if you want to know more or can help perhaps on a visit to the third world do get in contact by emailing biodes biodes at bigfoot.com and we'll see if we can help you. The video you are about to see was made several years ago but we still work in a very similar way. Now a British inventor has come up with a solution. Andrew Cromer's radio during the Civil War kept people going and now radio is helping to build the peace in Sierra Leone. Andrew Cromer knows the value of health and educational information delivered to remote communities by radio. It is like this. Andrew is working with the NGO Plan and the local community to set up Modcar, Mayamba District Community Awareness Radio. At least 60% of Modcar's programmes will be made by children. These are the children we consider our future leaders. But what can we do for them today for them to become future leaders? So that is why the radio station is essential at this time. The children hope to reach a wide local audience, but the price of batteries is a major headache for rural communities. The batteries that are imported into Sierra Leone now are of low quality. And the people themselves are poor. They cannot afford to keep buying batteries over and over, the quality of the batteries, the batteries don't last for long. So this will reduce the economic burden, uh, kind of reduce poverty, because people will now have less spending on batteries. Secondly, the toxic that comes from the numerous batteries you use over and over, we believe it increases the number of toxicants in the soil and in the environment. Thousands of kilometres away in Britain, inventor Graham Knight might be able to help. He's come up with a kit for converting an ordinary radio to run for free on solar power, using pieces of solar panel left over from commercial production. The basic idea behind this was that instead of using something like a clockwork radio, where the, the, the complete product is sent out, that something should be made much cheaper. Constructing a working panel from offcuts is child's play. First, cut your plywood so it's slightly bigger than the solar plate. Scrape away plastic from the ends of the plate to expose the metal underneath. Remove insulation from the ends of thin flex. Hold the flex in place with tape, then clamp to base with paper clips. Remove the wire handles. You have to connect your cable to the radio like I'm doing now it's on now I'm tuning station as you can see yeah you are you are listening to your radio <laughs> For a couple of dollars more, a rechargeable battery means the radio can be used when the sun's not shining. And constructing the panels locally not only keeps production costs low, it develops skills that could become a source of income.